All right, so answer A starts with it. It is physically inactive. That has to refer to something that came before in the text. So that's going to help me to slot it into place. Um, and it's got this time theme, which you've probably read in the article, in the text quite a lot. So it, time, on the other hand, for B, on the other hand, if you end early, the audience will feel cheated. What you say, da, 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 commitment. All right, so those are two words that stick out to me immediately. Why is there this difference? What difference? Again, that has to refer to something. I've evolved three explanations for it. All right, that I think is the biggest, easiest clue ever. We'll come back to that. Um, however, the word however always makes me go, oh, this kind of behavior. So again, we're looking for something that comes before. Actually, let's look at the three explanations. That one says, let me outline them. So three explanations, that's gonna link to something that comes after. Then if that goes in the text, probably near the beginning, because then he's gonna go one, two, three, right? So we have this link to the previous thing and then there should be a one two three after if this is one of the answers and also i think i said it's probably near the beginning because if that's near the end we don't have time for all of this all right so d this kind of behavior occurs because the average person's span of attention is limited so the topic here is span of attention and we've got this five to 10 minutes, all this stuff. Worst of all, all right, I'm gonna think that there is a, some kind of like, let's say a bullet point almost with a list of things. And this would be the third one. Ah, the third one. I mean, I don't know that there's three, but I wouldn't say worst of all, if there was only two things, I would say if there were three or four or five, the last one would be worst of all. So I'm looking for a series of things if I want to use this. Again, we've got time. So always looking at on in time here because the topic is timing a talk. No other aspect of the presentation can do as much damage to the way the audience thinks of the talk. No other aspect. So I might expect to hear about different aspects beforehand, um, but maybe not. And again, it's all about timing here. Okay, that one might not be the easiest one based on like linguistic grammatical clues. Gee, I have seen this newfound concern develop in novice speakers. This newfound concern, the word this is always a trigger for me. I always go, ooh, that's a clue. Makes me feel like Sherlock Holmes. Do, do, do speakers. Okay, so this is all about being interested in the topic. Speakers become deeply involved. Now, if I was reading this for the first time, that might not stand out to me as a big clue, but I have read it before, so that rings a bell. I feel like that's important. It is this effect too. All right, so we have some effect before which produces the strange pattern of elation and tiredness. So um, if you understand the word elation, we can say that that's like a kind of a positive thing and tiredness is negative. So that might be a clue. So you feel keyed up, that's positive. And then tiredness is negative. Hmm, 
this is all about being tired. Okay, so that gives me a little bit of a way into uh, the task, looking at the, the answers. Probably not very efficient. I've already used about five minutes just doing that. Then again, I am struggling with the technology of it all here. Also, by the way, um, when I move these things, all the highlights will stay. So, yeah. All right, let's go over here. And let's, what I want to do is I want to put one of these into place. So what's the easiest? So I mentioned this before. Maybe I'll do a different color. It's blue. So first, second, third. Now you remember all this stuff, right? First, second, third. I'm pretty sure that answer C goes here. Oh, the numbers are different. Um, in your exam, it won't be 14, 15, 16. It will be, uh, I don't know, 30, 31, 32. I don't remember. I haven't looked at it for a while. Um, this was when the exam was, this part of the exam was part two. Right, so I'm just going to grab that. Oh, no. Oh, I've grabbed a highlight. Grabbed a highlight. Right, so let's put that there already because I'm pretty sure that's right. So what is this all about? It's about timing. Speakers don't think it matters, but for the audience, timing is vital. Right, that's a difference. And we've got speakers versus the audience. Why is there this difference? And then we have the magic three explanations. First, second, third. All right, so I came to this answer by looking at the three explanations and thinking, okay, there has to be three explanations that follows in the text. So it must be before the first one. So it's either 14 or 15 or nothing. Okay, that was my uh, method there. All right, now what's the next? easiest. Um, I actually think it might be which one? B. Let's grab B. And I think it goes here. Or was it here? No, it's here. So this section is all about timing. Let me get a highlighter. Purple. Uh, pen. The third reason, uh, timing is a contract. So what does this mean about the contract? Basically, he's saying, when you agree to give a 10 minute talk, you should give a 10 minute talk. Any less, and they feel cheated anymore and they get restless, all right? So this is all the same flow of the argument. So then we've got, uh, after 30 minutes, restless, after, if it's too early, cheated. So we've got one, two of these two mistakes. Yeah? There is no doubt that to overrun the agreed time is more disastrous than to underrun it. So just in case we weren't sure, we've got overrun and underrun, which links to 30 minutes overrun and under early. <laughs> right, I've made a bit of a mess of the screen there, but there's so, you see what I mean? There's so many links. There's a link from here to here and here to here and here to here. And there's this through line in the whole text, which I find easy. I don't want to say that it, it's easy for everybody, but that for me was like, oh, okay, I know the answer, like very quickly. And you'll notice I'm not doing it in order. 
I'm doing it in terms of what's easiest and that's what's easiest for me and what's easiest for me will be different from what's easiest for you. Um, now I find this elation and tiredness one interesting. Let's see if I can... Uh, I think it connects with this uh, adrenaline thing. So speakers have a stamina, a resistance to tiring and endurance, which is superhuman. All right, now let's see if th these three go together. So adrenaline levels, oh my God, right, adrenaline levels. So um, excitement and fear, and that's what I meant about the elation and tiredness. Uh, wasn't there another one? Um, keyed up and ready and growing tiredness. So I think here we have the excitement, the elation, the fear, the tiredness, the elation, the keyed up, the tiredness, the tiredness. Again, I've got these um, lines through. Oh, and then we've got tiredness again. And then the sitting down reduces the adrenaline. So let me just read that more carefully. This effect is, I think, the adrenaline. Yeah, I like that. I think that's quite strong. I think that might go. Yeah, so the G, right, what's the thread here is what this guy called, oh no, uh, the emotional concern. So it's all about the interest. And I, what I want to see here is all this being about the interest. So having an emotional connection with the topic. So what he says is, the speaker has been working on the topic for some time. So he gets emotionally invested. It becomes important to him, this topic. I've seen this newfound concern. So that's new because um, the interest is produced. That's new. It's not an... It's not necessarily a topic that he was always interested in. So it's new and concern is another word for interest. So this is good. I've seen this newfound concern develop in novice speakers who had difficulty choosing what to talk about, but suddenly became passionate, emotional advocates for what they finally settled on and started buttonholing people at coffee breaks and meal times to talk more about it. In other words, they started to become like very boring about it. Like, oh, hey, let me tell you about um, podcasts. That's like me. I just talk to people about podcasts all the time. And they, they think, why do you only ever talk about podcasts? So the audience as usual feels quite differently. Their interest in the subject is unlikely to be so great. So this guy's interested and it's a big, profound interest. Boop. And this one here is not so great. They may have no interest and in it at all and may have to come to listen in the hope that the speaker will arouse an interest. I think maybe the next one is this physically inactive. I think that goes there. Speakers then are in an abnormal state. They are indifferent to time and tiredness. Um, while they are speaking, they feel like they could go on all day, but the audience is in the opposite, sitting down, 
reduces adrenaline below its normal level, it is physically inactive. I think it is the audience. And I think this um, sitting down and having nothing to do is the physically inactive. And then even the mental activity is stopped. And that is because, or that's why adrenaline goes down. Um, this goes a long way to explain why they have such different views on the passage of time. And that's a kind of a stop, but that's okay because now we go on to the second reason. Do you know what I mean? Like that doesn't flow into the next, there's no link in this sentence to take me to the next sentence, but that's okay because then we go on to the second reason. I think I'm happy with that. I think that one might go nicely there. Uh, the timing of a talk is extremely important. No other thing can do as much damage. Uh, why does it matter so much? Why does it matter so much? Just the, oh my God. It is the timing. Yeah, that seems, that seems fine. That's okay. Flows. It's very typical introduction. And the, the whole, um, the whole text is about timing a talk. And then we have this thing near the beginning that says nothing else is as important as the timing. Okay, so I expect that to be near the beginning. It fits there. Great. So I've got two more. So I'm still on the second reason. So worst of all, they may be there because they have to be. That could be. So I think that that one, D, is all about the timing. And I think we already did all the ones about timing. And this is about enthusiasm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see it now. The big clue here is the, oh, will you please do what I want you to do? Oh my God. The overbearing enthusiasm is this um, passionate advocate thing. Boop. So they may be there because, oh, let's do a different color. Blue again. They may be there because they have to be. Who's they? The audience. So um, they may have come, they, 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 audience, they, they, they. Unlikely to feel, as strongly feel, enthusiasm, feel, interest, feel, passion, feel, emotion. Wow. All right, a lot of links there. I am happy with my answers. I think D isn't in it. And I'm going to check my answers now. Paper. One, part two. Timing a talk. 14F. Ding, ding, ding. 15C. 16H. 17A. 18G. 19E. 20B. Okay, I, a native speaker with 20 years experience of the exam, have in only 25 minutes <laughs> successfully answered all the questions. All right, in my head, that whole thing feels like it was a bit of a mess and I didn't explain it very well. Um, so if you are still listening, just try to 
look at the little connections between the bits. Right, so these little lines that I've drawn, I mean, it's it's kind of ridiculous when I look at it now. Um, but there are so many clues that help you. And most of them have a flow, like from this to this to this to this to this, all here, they, that, they all flow into each other. And then you have a break for the, the next bit because that's a, like a separate bullet point. So things will flow together, and in the end, you will have a article that makes sense. So maybe this is something you could try. You could cut it up. Maybe you could do it a bit more professionally than me, and don't paste the same image twice and make it more difficult and confusing. And um, drag it around like this. Maybe that's a good way to practice. Okay, I hope it was helpful somehow anyway.